Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I am showing you guys some more 7 Days to Die and my long-awaited, fully upgraded, reinforced steel base. Now this thing is awesome, but before I get to that, I just want to talk to you guys about the steel upgrade, which they call it the reinforced steel upgrade. I think it should be called reinforced steel polish because of what it does, and this is like the shiniest base ever, and I have been waiting so long to show you guys, but first, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about this before I get into my house. Now, it takes one, if you start from the beginning, this is what it takes to build this it's gonna be one wood frame and five wood so you're gonna put that down and then it costs 10 to upgrade 10 to upgrade 20 uh that would be the iron another 40 another 40 and 10 concrete and then another 10 concrete to do it reinforced now this is kind of like one of those cooking channels where like they start cooking something they throw it in the oven and then they have a second oven where it's already done and that's what i've done here so now when this dries this wood breaks off and you have the concrete block then it takes 10 uh steel ingots which to have the steel you have to buy the skill for it then it takes the 10 uh reinforced steel upgrade uh, that is the steel polish. Now, here's the thing. I wanted to show this off in a video. The only way that you can get this steel upgrade right now is to buy it from a trader. Now, this might change when we get Alpha 16, but you have to buy this from a trader. And currently, the the going rate for one of these upgrades from the trader is 2,700 coins. Now, that is for one. You need 10 for a block. So, yes, this was just built for fun. Um, yes, I did build this in creative mode just to get that steel upgrade. Because otherwise, it's like, do the math. I don't know how many blocks I have here, but to get the steel upgrade for everything, that would have been crazy. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. And I'm going to be testing the durability later on because we will be destroying this base. Don't hate me for doing it. Now... Basically, I also wanted to show you these big log wood spikes. They don't upgrade with the polish. Um, it's, it just stays steel. They don't upgrade with the polish. Otherwise, I would have upgraded those to make it super shiny. But this is the shiniest 7 days to die base ever. Alright, I'm going to show you guys around this entire wall. Yes, it is steel upgrade. And I have my day right now set to a 10 minute day. So that you guys will be able to see like the sunset and the super shininess. And how all of that goes. Um, basically, this entire wall is steel upgrade. And when you put the, the candles and stuff against it, it really reflects very nicely. All the way to the back. Now, this is one of those, um, those little stores that you see. I've upgraded an entire store. Like, even down to these little things. Um, yeah, because I pretty much love this. This is my favorite game, by the way, and I would like to welcome new people to the channel. I've kind of like almost 500 subscribers in one week since I did the charity live stream of Seven Days to Die. You guys are so awesome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is my little, um, little mine down there that I started, but I won't be going down there. I'm going to show you guys upstairs. Look at how crazy this is. This is very impractical now. This just looks cool, and I wanted to show it off. Um, a few things to know that I did not know is that you actually have to um, buy it from the trader, like I said before. There is a steel, when you buy the steel um, ingots, basically, what I wear is in here, uh, steel smithing. I thought that if I had upgraded my skill level for the steel smithing that I could be able to make the steel upgrade, the polish uh, that makes it super shiny. Um, don't waste your skill points because you can't and that was super disappointing. So here is the roof, um, which is all upgraded as well. Like I said, I, I spent the time to put like everything upgraded, which is awesome. Um, my preferred uh, type of base has the iron bars around it so that the zombies can't crawl over. And in case they ever get in so they can't get on this roof here. 
Um, I pretty much just spent a lot of time upgrading, so I wanted to show you guys how cool and shiny it looks, which is awesome. And just w exactly what it takes to fully upgrade just one block, as you saw that I did out there originally. And how, like, insane that is. Um, hopefully when we get Alpha 16, they will come up with a better way for us to get the steel upgrade. And now I know that it's supposed to be... You know, one of the hardest things to get in the game, but you can't even make it right now. So I, I wish that somebody had told me before I wasted all those skill points that you couldn't uh, get the steel upgrade. So this was just like a little tutorial and guide on the steel upgrade, which I think should be called steel polish. And my super shiny base. And this was just for fun. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my super shiny base in the comments below. And let me know what you think about the practicality of that taking that much material just to do it. Um, I've been playing this game long enough that just to do something, like, yeah, why the heck not? Um, but would you ever actually do this? And before you go, why don't we test the durability of this base by... Sad to say, like I said, it's just for fun. So, easy come, easy go. Let's tear it down. Okay, so I got a rocket launcher, an SMG, some TNT, and some rocket. Let's see what this does from like a further away range. Oh, look at all the cracks. Look how sad that is. Yeah, there's cracks. I mean, it's okay. Wow, my ladder's still there. From really up close. Hey, look. There's random blood on the spikes. Okay, so there's some cracks there. I don't expect this team to do much then. Especially if it's like a player thing. Oh, do you hear that? It sounds so cool. It's putting the same cracks that a rocket launcher did from far away. It's doing pretty good. Let's see here. Maybe I can plant this up against the wall. Like so. I'm surprised it's not falling. This TNT is defying gravity. Alright. Now if I can just hit it. TNT is where it's at with that. That was awesome, you guys. Alright, now the real test is the zombie test. Well, let's go inside and see how this does against... Mm, what do you say? I don't want this to lag too much. But let's get, like, at least 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 cops. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can't crash my game. 25 cops. Alright. 25 cops, 25 dogs, 25 football players. I do some more cops. And yeah. Have at it. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna die before I get to see what happens. Damn, I'm impressed. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut it off here. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on the Reinforced Steel Upgrade. Um, this is doing surprisingly well. I'm gonna go before I die, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you had a good time.